Taking a quick look at this new Gen Dome Home 3000, this thing's got some pretty impressive specs and the design on this thing, you know, is, is kind of the, the real big appeal too. The form factor, it's, it's very compact and just a very uh, sleek, modern, clean design on it. Something that, you know, you're going to be able to, to slide into your living room and it's, it's not going to be uh, something that's going to stand out, right? So that's kind of the big appeal. Now we'll talk about the design stuff more in depth, you know, a little bit later. But let's just kind of um, jump into the, the specs here and everything like that. 3,072 watt hours. So basically, you know, three kilowatt hours. And, you know, good, good uh, AC inverter on this thing as well. 3,000 continuous um, with that 6,000 watt surge. And they do mention this is actually 120 volts too, not, not 110. So I like to see that. And then uh, they are claiming 12 milliseconds on that UPS. So that's, you know, that's pretty good stuff as well. And then as far as the charging goes, you know, it's all top specs, uh, AC charging, basically, you know, it's, it's, you know, somewhere around an hour with AC charging. And then we do get good solar as well. Now this is, a, they kind of screwed this up. This actually is supposed to be 2.5 hours, uh, scratch that out. But still, you know, on a three kilowatt hour battery, uh, it's good solar. So it just, let's just kind of get into the specs here too. It's 1500 watts and it is, a, it's a decent voltage range. 12 to 75 volts and and pretty like the amps is kind of the real standout thing 45 amps on this thing and the reason they're actually able to do 45 amps is they're using an xt90 connector so this is like the the, the big one right this is this is like a real beefy connector so yeah uh you know basically it's set up to handle a lot of solar power kind of you know any way you can put the power into it, it'll handle up to 1500 watts. Now what's actually interesting too, is they do, as you see here, they, they do have like a little Anderson port that they label as wind power. But this is again, just another, you know, you can use it, it's, it's another DC controller, right? You can use it for solar, or you could use it to, to charge from like the alternator in your RV or something like that. If you wanna have, if you wanna have that going at the same time with in addition to like, so a, you know, a big solar array on the roof or something. Now, as far as all the output ports, it's, you know, it's got everything you're going to need, right? It's, it's got you covered. Uh, we do get the, the kind of the standard, you know, four uh, wall out uh, sockets. And then we do get, you know, the, the RV, the 30 amp. And then as far as the input ports, you know, we do get the, the standard cord for the wall charger. Uh, nice little switch there, you know. Um, we'll, t we'll kind of talk about the, the app and stuff like that. But, you know, basically this, what's really nice is this unit is set up. You don't have to use the app, you know, all the switches are on the unit. And then there's that, you know, beefy XT90 connector and the Anderson as well. Now they do mention that there's uh, expandable batteries for this thing, but just, you know, one thing to note, there is no parallel kit. There's no parallel option. So you can't, you know, increase the output of the inverter or, or do any kind of like 240 volt split phase stuff or anything like that. And then on the other side, well, this is technically the, the front side is all the, you know, all the USB, the 12 volt outlets. And they do kind of give you a, a, a high output. This is a 360 watt. So this is 12 volts, uh, you know, 30 amp basically. I think it looks pretty tight. I'm not sure if uh, that might be an XT30. It's a little tiny connector, but still, you know, it's nice. Always nice to be able to get a, a, a little bit more power out of, you know, DC and not, not always have to rely on the inverter if you got a setup for that. All right, and then the screen is, this is a very nice looking screen on this unit. Actually, this is probably one of the nicest screens I've seen on a power station. Very crisp, very high contrast, good color on it. And basically, you know, it'll give you all the information that you need. And then, you know, of course, right in the center, big and large, I like to see that, the percentage in this, the, the ring around here will actually change colors as well. It'll start to turn yellow and red as you, as basically the battery gets lower and lower, which is just kind of a good visual indicator, you know, to charge the thing back up. All right, just to do kind of a quick uh, design analysis on this thing, you know, as I mentioned, I, I do really like it. I think it's a very attractive unit. And again, something that you can just have like sitting inside your house and, you know, you're not going to notice it too much and it's not going to draw a lot of attention. It's just not going to look out of place, right? Um, and, and the form factor as well, as I mentioned, this thing is actually, you know, for three kilowatt hours, it's, you know, it's, it's obviously, it's a couple feet tall, but it's really the, you know, the width on this thing is quite narrow, right? You can really kind of tuck this thing into places. And then as far as for portability, you know, we do get the wheels, obviously. These are little wheels, you know, so this is, this is you know, mainly to be used indoors. You're not gonna wanna be, you know, dragging this thing outside. And, you know, there are some recessed handles into this thing, 
but there's no like suitcase style uh, handle. But still, you know, it's going to be quite manageable to kind of move this thing around. You just need to, you know, push it from room to room. Oh, and by the way, you know, with this flat top, there are a couple of wireless chargers sitting on the top there as well. And one nice little design detail that I do like is actually the, the ring that wraps around this the display screen there that you can see there is green. Also, there's a, there's a little light down here too. These are actually, you can actually change these in the app too. You can kind of adjust the light on them. And then the last thing you probably want to know, the weight, 84 pounds. So, you know, yes, that's kind of expected. It's not, at least it's not, you know, crazy. It's not, you know, 100 pounds or more. So it is, would be manageable, especially with two people. So yeah, that's just a quick overview. This Gendome Home 3000, good specs, good charging, good solar, uh, nice form factor, nice design, uh, excellent display screen, all, you know, UPS, all the features you, you basically want, right? And a, a nice package that's, you know, it's going to look good in your house. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of find this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.